Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amina and this is Experiencing Fragrances with Amina. So today we're going to talk about um, a fragrance from one of my favorite independent houses. Uh, it's quite a polarizing house but to me I put all of that aside and focus on the product which is the fragrance and I feel like this house uh, produces lots of good quality and unique and quite signature to the house sense if that makes any sense um sense if that makes any sense anyway so today we're talking about the house of aaron Terrence hughes and we're talking about the scent chocolate rose oud i feel like my camera's all sorts of whack this one is one of my favorites but I, like i said i say this all the time I really do like almost all the fragrances that I have by Erin Serens Hughes. This one in particular, I used this so much. I haven't had this that long, but I've used it quite a bit. This fragrance is really dark and heavy. It's definitely a long lasting uh, scent. To me, this is a perfect scent for the winter. During the winter time, I wore the hell out of this. I still wear the hell out of it when I just feel like it and we're in May. So really, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter when you wear it, but to me, I feel like this really shines during the cold, uh, cold weather months. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of this on my arm and we'll go ahead and talk about what I'm smelling and then we'll talk about the notes and then go from there. So here it is, bottle here, I think I have to move with it, yeah, okay, there it is, Whew. right away, you get rose, you get bitter chocolate, it's like a, it's a chocolate, but it's, it's bitter, it's not like a sweet milk chocolate, it's a dark chocolate, I smell incense, I smell patchouli, it's, it's a bit musky, it's creamy. It's really dark and very, very dense. It's a bit of vanilla. Yeah, so this scent, I feel like it's not very bright and um, light. It's just heavy and dense. And for that reason, I feel like it doesn't really have a top note. I feel like all the notes are just jumbled and like a sphere and you're having all the notes just like mixing around in it. It's very uniform. It doesn't project very much, which to me, I think is perfect for a fragrance like this. Um, it's very close to the skin. It, it kind of stays in your bubble and people won't probably, people will probably not be able to smell it until they get within that bubble, but this will definitely leave a great sillage. Okay, so the notes based on the websites are as such. Top note is rose. Then middle notes, we have tonka, vanilla, and cacao. Base note, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, and dark chocolate. So like I said, this fragrance is just really dense. This is not for the faint-hearted at all. Me, personally, I prefer denser, heavier scents, which people find absolutely crazy, but for me, that just it puts me in my happy place. It's really complex, it's it's uniform, like I said. And to me, I feel like the scent just gets better with time. The longer you wear it, and the longer it sits on your skin, it just kind of just turns into something magical. It's, like I said, one of my favorites. Um, and again, it's not for the faint-hearted. It's, it's not something that's offensive. If you're not used to wearing scents that are this heavy and dense, you might feel a little bit self-conscious while wearing it. But as I said, it doesn't project very well. To me, this is much a fragrance that I wear for me because it just makes me feel really happy. It makes me feel really good. It's very sensual. It's, it's, it's unique. It's, to me, heavy fragrances are sexy and this is extremely sexy in my opinion. I love this fragrance. Just smelling it just reminds me of the cooler months when I first moved out here to Scotland um, in like October, November, when it was just really, really cold <laughs> all the time. Um, but even now we're in uh, May and it's still quite cool. So I would still wear this anyway. 
just because I really, really do like it. So with the house Aaron Terrence Hughes, I have a lot from his collection. And I feel, like I said, he's one of my favorite uh, independent fragrance houses. And as I said at the beginning of the video, he's very polarizing. But when looking at houses like Aaron Ter Terrence Hughes, try not to look at the person behind the uh, fragrance. To me, I actually think he's really cool. He's very generous. I like how he's just really brutally, brutally honest when he's reviewing fragrances. He kind of tells it, he says what's on his mind and if you don't like it, you don't like it. And I like that attitude about him. But some people find that offensive and find that a bit um, um, arrogant. But for me, I feel like he's very passionate in his work and it shows when you when you try out the fragrances. And if you have the opportunity, if you can get a decant or a sample from somewhere, try it. I'm telling you, it'll change your life as it has mine. Uh, I would say Aaron Terrence Hughes is one of the first kind of niche brands that I delved into, or not niche, but just something that was on the other end of commercial or designer. So I feel like his fragrances are very special. They've kind of opened up my mind to, uh, things that I didn't think I liked, but I actually really do. So as I said, give it a chance. If you know someone with it, ask for a decant, ask for a sample, try it out and, and see for yourself. I'm telling you, it's really, really good. Thanks again for watching my video. Hope to see you guys soon for the next one. Remember to please like, share and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe. Bye.